my love of aviation is kind of a mystery. I don't fit the general stereotype for a pilot, but it just feels right and it just makes sense. My name's Ellie Carter, I'm 19 years old and I fly the really nice aircraft behind me. It's kind of always been my passion to be a pilot. When I was eight or nine years old, my bedtime reading was 50 years of the U2. I think being obsessed with maths and physics and the edge of space, the U2 is kind of a logical plane to fall in love with. When I was nine, I wrote this letter to Ria asking them, can you please bring a U2 to the air show? The U2 is a top secret aircraft, so this letter went to the Pentagon. My parents started getting all these weird phone calls, kind of trying to work out who they are, and they almost got arrested. I don't know, they eventually realized I was just a really keen nine-year-old girl. They actually invited me up to Fairford to see the U2. To be able to see that, it was just awe-inspiring. Without Riyadh and without that letter, I wouldn't be a pilot. It's incredibly humbling to fly an aircraft that served in D-Day. It's a wonderful aircraft and you can take it into some really tiny strips and some places that you wouldn't take other aircraft. You get so many good experiences out of it, I love it. Flying is kind of unique in this way. You get this strange feeling of being completely grounded in an aircraft, but also being completely weightless at the same time. It's so incredible to be able to do what I do, especially at my age. Every time up in the plane, I'm like, oh my God, wow, I can, I can do this. When you're flying along and you have like a buzzard flying next to your wing or something, it's just the most magical and incredible weightless feeling. Being a young female in aviation, it's kind of a unique opportunity in a way. There aren't many of us. Maybe I can inspire the next generation of female pilots. I like to take a lot of, especially young people, for flights in their first flights. And I'm mentoring a young 11-year-old at the moment, and it's an amazing thing to be able to give back. I'm a STEM ambassador. I love science and maths and I think planes and aviation kind of tie into that. It's really nice to be able to just really kind of show people that STEM is really cool and you can have a really cool career in it. The Royal Air Force Charitable Trust kind of aligns with what I'm trying to do. They also want to help young people and people like me um, and they're kind of just inspiring the next generation. I think we need more young people in aviation so I'm incredibly grateful.